There are still ways for supporters of the Kendall Roman CEO team, who felt let down by their team's loss in episode 5, to scuttle the Goho transaction. The identity of the Waystar King or Queen at the end of Succession Season 4's episodes becomes more and more clear with each episode. Together with Roman, Kendall has now attained the CEO position he's been working towards since the pilot as a result of Logan's passing. The brothers, who were first given an interim status, are now aiming to sabotage the Goho deal and save the business their father founded. As a result, they now have Lucas Matson as a clear adversary. Following the meeting in Norway, Matson called the Waystar team on the flight to deliver his news of raising his offer for the company. When the offer reaches a certain threshold, it will be difficult for Kendall and Roman to reasonably say no. The rest of the team is looking to push the deal through and walk home with their money, so Kendall and Roman will have to look to other options to tank the deal. Kendall has already stooped to dragging his father's name through the dirt to solidify his position, and that likely won't be the worst that the number one boy does to keep his job. ATN can back Mencken in return for him blocking the Goho deal, trailers for Succession Season 4 have continuously shown glimpses of an election that will cause drama. While con heads may be hoping that this will allow the show to pivot entirely to being about Connor's presidential campaign, it will likely tie into the main plot. Kendall and Roman could use the power of ATN to fully support right-wing candidate Jared Mencken in his election, in return for him blocking the Goho deal on the grounds of regulating a monopoly. Hints exist in the trailers and some moments of foreshadowing in the show. When candidate David Boyer assures Logan he wouldn't interfere with the Goho deal in exchange for his support in season 3, succession foreshadows the possibility of the Goho agreement being rejected by politicians for the first time. Then, in episode 5, Shiv introduces the rumor that ATN is becoming more closely associated with Jared Mencken, a subject on which neither Kendall nor Roman express strong opinions. They might exert extreme pressure on ATN to back Mencken, sparking the riots and demonstrations seen at the conclusion of the season 4 teaser. Not to mention, in the mid-season trailer, Roman is seen pleading with Connor to withdraw from the race on Mencken's behalf. They might be able to maintain ATN and Waystar at the expense of all credibility if this series of events plays out. Shiv can blackmail Matson after episode 5's blood reveal. Instead of going down the political path, the Roy siblings would gain a lot by fully re-involving Shiv. She may be playing both sides in her new dubious connection with Lucas Matson, according to the episode 6 trailer. Shiv wants the Waystar deal to go through, but if she is true to her family, she might use the knowledge Matson provided in episode 5 to her advantage. Matson revealed some highly sensitive Goho information, including the fact that he had been tormenting his employee by giving her obscene vials of his blood. If this information is accurate, Matson may have made a serious error in telling Shiv. Why the Roys can't let Matson win in succession season 4. Roman and Kendall are opposing Matson and attempting to thwart the Goho deal for various reasons. Since the pilot, Kendall has been striving for the CEO role, which he has now secured. Kendall changed into something sinister when he saw his name on the document in Logan's office. He was drawn back into the power struggle that almost lost him his life in season 3, but this time his father isn't there to stop him. Roman, on the other hand, appears to be the only guy on the show that truly values his family and opposes Matson taking over the business his father founded. At the conclusion of succession, a family member must hold the reins of authority.